okay I wanna take a minute and draw a minimum wage model and we're gonna graph wages over here on our y-axis going from one to ten dollars and then on our x-axis we're gonna have a labor supply of one workers two workers three workers to ten workers this is a theoretical model and we're gonna try and show if raising the minimum wage uh, has any effect on unemployment and see if we can maybe make a guess about that okay so the first thing that we've done for our model is we've uh, drawn some points down here and this is going to be our demand for labor line so when uh, wages are set at ten dollars there will be uh, a demand for one worker in the marketplace and then for every one dollar uh, decrease in the wage we will have a increase of one in the labor supply and so this will be our demand line for labor all right and the next thing we'll add to our model is the labor supplied at different wages so when wages are one dollar uh, there's only one person willing to work for one dollar so there's one one person in the labor supply and then when there's two we have two people willing to work in the labor supply and then for every one dollar increase in wage we'll have one person increase in the labor supply okay so the next thing we've added to our model is uh, the concept of a minimum wage the first thing we'll look at is the markets natural minimum wage and that's where our supply line meets our demand line and that intersection is our equal equilibrium point where the market satisfies the demand to its maximum potential and the supply to its maximum potential but let's say for whatever reason our society decides to impose a higher minimum wage than a natural minimum wage and so in our model let's just pretend that that becomes seven dollars so now that we have this new minimum wage what are the effects of that minimum wage then we can use our model to start considering the unemployment levels at these various points at L3 when the weight minimum wage is seven dollars and seven people want to work if we were to choose that we would only have three people unemployed only three people would say I want more money than seven dollars and would choose to remain unemployed at L2 our equilibrium point in our natural minimum wage we would have four to five people who would say I want more money and I will not work for that wage so five to four people would be unemployed at that weight or at that natural minimum wage level at L1 on our demand side our demand intersection where we say at a minimum wage of seven dollars we are only willing to employ four people we would have six people unemployed so each one of these different scenarios is a possibility which one is the one that ends up happening then well because our y-axis axis with our wages is our input to determine our label labor supply or that they the demand line is paying seven dollars for their labor not vice versa the demand line ends up getting to choose that and so they say I'm only willing to give seven dollars for four employees and so we end up having an unemployment of six and when you compare that to our original natural minimum wage we see that we've actually increased our unemployment by increasing our minimum wage alright so now that we know that we're gonna go with the six on six people unemployed because the demand line gets to choose the L1 they say we're gonna employ four people we can also start to consider who those four people might be and typically the fewer amount of employees that they're willing to employ because they have to pay more and more for them they're going to pay for a higher skill level employee so the minimum wage law is designed to help the unskilled or the uneducated for whatever reason a person found in the working class they're the first ones to be laid off because those employers who are demanding the labor are saying because I now have to pay them more I want the most skilled person I can get so our model can theoretically show us that by increasing our minimum wage law we've increased our unemployment levels 
but this model doesn't take into consideration uh, anything about what the living wage is or whether or not this is a good idea or the political reasons that someone might argue for a minimum wage increase. This model just shows us that when the forces of supply and demand are applied to the minimum wage, we will have an increased unemployment.